So what is a self-image? Do we all have one? And is it something that's changeable? Can we actually improve it? Well, let's take a look at those questions in this video. Hi, I'm Stephen Burns from Solutions in Mind, and in this video, I'd like to discuss self-image. There's an all-time classic self-help book called Psycho-Cybernetics by Maxwell Maltz. I think I read it around about 20 years ago. But Maxwell Maltz was a surgeon. He did plastic surgery. And he found that in the patients that he worked with, that some of them experienced real, tangible, external and internal benefits from plastic surgery. Not only did it change the way that they looked, but it really changed the way that they felt about themselves on the inside. But he also found that there were lots of patients who didn't experience those tangible benefits, that they had a temporary release when they had the plastic surgery, but then fairly soon they returned to really feeling not so good about themselves. And a lot of the time it led to them wanting further plastic surgery. So that led him to the conclusion that something was actually going on on the inside. It was not so much a problem of external physicality, it was more a problem of internal perception. And this is where he coined the term the self-image. So what actually is a self-image? Well, it's a subjective term, but in my opinion, it's the summary that we have about who we are as a person. If you were to close your eyes and ask yourself, who am I? then it would bring forth lots of different ideas. And if you were to summarise all of those things, you would come up with your self-image. So it's basically the perception that you have on the inside about who you are, your potential, your qualities, your weaknesses, your strengths, your social standing, your self-worth, your capabilities, your potential. It's all of those things thrown into this psychological soup and then summarised, possibly in a single sentence. So if you think about it, it really is important. It's something that's going to affect, you know, pretty much everything that you do. And the really good thing about understanding about your self-image is that it is actually changeable. It's malleable. We can enrich, we can improve it over time. So of course the key question is, how do you actually do that? Well, there are many different tips. Again, it is a multi-layered and complex subject. But I want to give you just one quick tip that you can put into practice straight away that will help you start to improve your own self-image. Now this technique is called the self-love technique. Now I know that sounds seriously dodgy, but please stick with me here. It's not what you perhaps think. So this is a very simple technique, but really powerful. It's where you step into the shoes through your imagination of the shoes of someone who loves, respects, or admires you. Now we all have people in our life who do love, respect or admire us. It may be our parents, it could be a friend that we have, maybe it's a work colleague. Hey, if you're struggling to think of anyone, then maybe it's just your dog or even your hamster. You know, dogs love everyone, it doesn't matter who you think you are, they will love and respect you. And what it involves is once you have the person who sees qualities in you that perhaps you don't, you then close your eyes, take a few long, slow, deep breaths just to centre yourself, and then you imagine what it would be like if you were to step into the shoes of this person, and then look back at yourself through the eyes of the person who loves, respects, or admires you, or through the eyes of your dog if you decide to choose that one. And when you do this, it allows you to see yourself from a different perspective. Because often when we think about our own qualities, a lot of the time we are hampered and hindered by our own psychological limitations, our own psychological problems, especially if you really have an issue about it too. So by actually stepping out of your shoes, you're kind of getting out of your own way, so to speak. And of course, this is just in your imagination, it's not real, but it really can give you real tangible shifts in your own perspective and the way that you view yourself. And when you look back, all of a sudden you start to make aware of lots of qualities that you have that you perhaps are taking for granted. Maybe you're just being too modest. So that's it, a quick but powerful tip for improving your own self-image. If you want to keep up to date with future videos and content, then join the Solutions in Mind School. It's free to join. There are lots of programs that you can enrol on too. So thanks for watching, have a great day, and I look forward to seeing you in a future video.